Hello everyone and welcome back to Realism Over All Sandbox in Kerbal Space Program 1.8.1 where I continue to work on small launchers, well in this case small payloads because we've done some small launches already. I made uh, Rocket 1 by Launcher Space and I made a whole bunch of these tiny little rocket motors from various vendors and uh, well those are interesting and all but only useful if we have payloads to launch with them. And so far we've only had the Explorer 1 probe really and maybe some vanguards. And Explorer 1, well, it's old. I mean, it's been around for a while and it's not really modern. Not something that would suit, say, RP2000 or anything like that. So I decided to make CubeSats. And uh, make them in such a way that, first of all, it's not going to take up too much space. This is a major consideration of mine uh, that it should not be a large mod. Uh, but it should be a functional mod and also I wanted to make it so that these modules could be things that Kerbals could carry and Potentially when we make payloads uh, other payloads more complicated payloads these could be modules that could be slotted in and So you see what I mean in a moment, but I haven't made the science modules yet So uh, I've just made the sort of basic functional modules for now and so we have a CubeSat structure here and then one with solar panels uh, using the bare structure probably isn't the greatest thing because this is as close as you can zoom in in the VAB. And then let's say I uh, I made these panels so that you could place them on the side, but uh, they, they surface attach and everything, but it's hard to place them properly. So uh, yeah, uh, generally speaking, it's best to use the ones with the solar panels already and they open like that. That's not the best for drag. And I, I know other solar panel configurations for CubeSats. This is a one unit and there's a three unit here. You can see all the nodes because we have things to put in to the CubeSat structure. Uh, but the reason I made them like this is because if we have components inside that are meant to extend out like antennae or RCS ports that blow out, uh, you know thrust uh, It's better this way because otherwise you don't you'll have to figure out how to orient it properly So that the thing doesn't poke out through the solar panel and it is it gets all complicated so this way it's all clear and there's no question about how to uh, Place things because you can barely see the stuff unfortunately outside is a little bit better uh, So let's start with uh, let's just go with a three unit one now I, don't, I haven't made the launch launcher for the CubeSats yet, you know, the thing that spews them out. That's another thing that I have to do. Uh, but one thing I have done is make our own little uh, Explorer Core version. And this Explorer Core version is uh, sized specifically so that it can fit the same modules as the CubeSat. And it has a hatch here. It's got some basic stuff in there. It's got a control core, which is this Arduino one. Uh, I really put some detail into it with wires and everything uh, but you can you can't really see it very well and uh, the battery is even based on a battery that actually exists on I found it on a website and uh, it really has this electric charge and the specifications but uh, we've got two of those in there but you can barely see them but yeah uh, so this uh, core can fit some of these other things like this is a magnet torquer which is sort of like a reaction well I've interpreted that so we could uh, use alt and put one of those in. So now we'll have a reaction wheel in. This is a blank uh, platform. This is RCS. This is cheating in this case with uh, this one because the RCS would blow right through the walls of it. Um, there's this simple antennae for CubeSats 1. Let's see if I right click and extend antennae. The, this, this one only has two antennae so they poke out like this. I know this is gonna be an episode where it's really hard to see things, but um, this is as close as I can zoom. That's it. Uh, but yeah, so we can retract antennae, and so that's a little antenna module. There's another antenna module that's a helix antenna, but that wouldn't be well suited to this one. Uh, this, uh, ooh, where did it even go? Um, this Explorer One style one, because well, I guess it could work. Uh, I need to select that. Stop that. There we go. Extend antenna. But it's just sort of a helix antenna like that. So it's better on one of the normal CubeSats. 
And so we have the simple and tonight we have a star tracker. Now this was only supposed to be the SAS unit. Basically, I would have liked the command core not to have a transmitter. It's not supposed to. Uh, at least it can't transmit science. But uh, this star tracker was not supposed to have a command core. But when I tried to put the SAS unit without the command core, it wouldn't read the SAS unit. It just said no SAS. So I'm hoping that now that I put a command core with it, it'll have the SAS unit. But it's a star tracker. Uh, that's that little bit there. So if you really want to do this right, that should be poking out uh, this side like it's a camera. And I'll make camera modules and stuff. I'll have to make a thermometer because I think or like mystery goose too big the thermometer is probably too big too to fit in here um maybe but yep so all together we have a battery command core magnet torker just a blind platform rcs reaction wheel uh star tracker and basic avionics the helix antenna simple antenna one and simple antenna two so that's what i made and then there's also blank solar panels like that that were meant for these empty structure ones but yeah what we're going to do is well what which one should I use um, this one's fancier well let's just go with this one uh, so we can test the solar panels as well so this has one battery and the command core built in the one you one unit cube sat does not have anything built in it's just empty and it has three slots, so use them wisely. But it's really hard to put stuff in. The helix antenna, I meant to go sort of on top-ish. So there's actually a hole on top. And so it's supposed to pop out of that. You can zoom in a little bit easier outside, but you can't really place things. Okay, so we gotta test everything. There's the RCS. I really meant the RCS to go down below. Uh, but it's tough with all these nodes. I guess I'll take that. Um, there's another hole down here. You could put another helix antenna or you could put a uh, engine there. I have to make propellant modules and everything. So it's the star tracker. Well, that's fine, I suppose. Got RCS. I think we've got all the things. You could put some extra batteries. But not. Now, the reaction wheel unfortunately takes up more than one slot, basically, so we can't really do that. Anyway, this is a full featured one right here. Um, let's track the solar panels. And I'll just cheat it into space for now. Okay, well, so... Oh, the helix antenna has popped up. Wait, that's not ex extended mode. Did I put it to... Uh-oh. So for some reason outside, the little antenna was sort of popped up a little bit. And I don't know why. Oh, well, this time that little antenna isn't popped up. Okay, well... We can sort of zoom closer, but because I've got a post-processing mod, uh, KS3P, with certain settings for blur, it gets very blurry if I zoom in too much. But uh, the reason I put details on all the parts is because in space, you can zoom in on it, and Kerbals could potentially take out the parts and put new parts in. So I wanted to make sure that that was accessible. But yeah, let's cheat into space. test all the things. So first of all, we can see that the electric charge is being drained because the solar panel isn't deployed. Uh, but the reaction wheel should still work. So prograde. Yep, there is a reaction wheel. And extend solar panels. Well, it's not recharging because this is the wrong direction for the solar panels. So retrograde. Now it is recharging. So that's fine. Okay, uh, blurry. Let me disable, oh, let me extend the antenna. It already has comms because the, it, they, something automatically gave the core comms. Anyway, extending the helix antenna, that's okay. The, the neither of the antennae are relays right now. I will make a relay antenna, but neither of the ones that are on board are relays. And so this is also the, the straight line antennae. 
can sort of see them there. Okay. Oop, too blurry. Alright, so I'm going to disable the reaction wheels so that we can check the RCS. So... Uh, no, just toggle torque. Alright, so now it can't turn. And enable the RCS. Oh, oh, we saw an RCS puff. So, prograde. Oh, it used its nitrogen too quickly. Hmm, that's tough. Now, that's as much nitrogen, uh, nitrogen as I can pack into this, given the volume. So, that's a legit amount of nitrogen given the volume. Um, we saw what it did to try and turn to prograde, and... It used up all the nitrogen, it didn't really turn that quickly. I, they, these are one newton thrusters. So, what I'm gonna say is, maybe don't use the RCS. <laughs> Maybe just go with a reaction wheel of some kind. Actually, technically, it should be three of these wheels, by the way. Technically, there's just one. But if I really split that out for people, that would be too irritating, I think, for everyone. So, yeah. The Star Tracker, does it give us SAS functionality? Yes, it does. So, yep. I couldn't have the SAS module on a separate part from the command core, unfortunately. Uh, even though that was my intention. So anyway, this is the idea for a CubeSat mod. It has its pluses and minuses. Obviously, a lot of CubeSats wouldn't have it all uh, out in the open like this. So, yeah. But next up, I'm going to come up with some science. And I'm going to have to see if I can make some custom science stuff. Not just the regular thermometer barometer stuff, but uh, more complicated stuff. And cameras too, we need better cameras. Anyway, I'll link this in the video description. It'll be part of the Simple Rockets mod, so that mod will include the other little SR, uh, SR, solid motors, as well as Rocket 1 from Launcher Space, and I'm going to continue to make other launchers. But uh, is part of the package and no well, intended to be i mean in terms of the career mode you're probably not that interested in cubesats but i don't know maybe and perhaps we'll find another purpose for these little modules that's my intention anyway so with that i'll say thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do press like if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below and i'll see you next time